Hi, my name is Iskader Wahsame. I'm a senior technical support engineer. In this video, I will present the NetVault Backup 10 server monitor page. We will look at the different usage of the server monitor page. In this page, administrators can have an overall overview of the status of the NetVault Backup system. The server monitor page provides link to all the pages of NetVault Backup 10. Let's begin by logging in into the NetVault Backup 10. I'm going to use the admin account which in my case has no password. By looking at this page I can see that three out of my four clients are online I can see that five out of my nine devices are online. I can also see that I have backed up 1.2 gigabyte of data in this NetVault configuration. Note that I can scroll over these items. They are in fact linked links. I can click for instance on the client and this will take me straight to the Manage Client page. Let's go back. If I scroll over the storage devices, I can see already the number of devices that are offline. And also, I'm given the list of the devices which are offline. I can click on the link and this will take me to the manage devices. So let's go back again. If we look at the bottom of the screen we see all the useful information. Under current activity are shown the number of scheduled jobs which are the number of scheduled jobs, jobs which are on waiting or pending status and any jobs and any active jobs. In my case, I currently have three active jobs and six scheduled jobs. As, you, as we just saw, two of my jobs are currently active. Also, I presented the number of policies configured in this user's NetVault backup system. In my case, I have a policy set up and that policy is in error. I have zero policy in healthy state and zero policy in warning state and again one policy in error. Information about regular jobs is also presented here. Note that users can click on the items here I am presented with the list of the jobs which are currently in error status. A user does not have to browse through a long list of jobs to find which one fell or completed. Finally, I am presented with a graph in the middle of the page. Here I can see the transfer rate of any job which may be running. And I can also see the number count of any active jobs. In my case, I only have one and that one is waiting. I can also see the events in chronological order. In my case, I've just filtered the event by 24 in the last 24 hours. Know that I can also filter it by errors only key events or all events. In this case I have filtered by 24 hours and all events. I can click on each event. As we just saw by clicking on each event on each item or dot I can see the details about the event. Red dotted event are severe failure or anything that needs immediate attention. 
blue dotted are informational, yellow also provides some useful information. That's all about the server monitor page. As we said at the beginning of the presentation, just by looking at this page, users can have an overall and simple view of the state of the NetVault backup system.